know shit. Um, it's been a blessing. Shit changed my life. You know, I'm able to do what I'm doing now because of, you know, power and everything that came after it. So, appreciate, you know, everybody that thought to put me in that shit. Yeah! You know? Yeah! <laughs> but, um, appreciate, you know, all my friends, all my family. Helping me, you know, stay grounded. Helping me to never forget who the fuck I am and where I came from. And, um, you know, yeah, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, it's been 10 crazy years. It's about to be another crazy, I don't know how many more years after, but it's about to get crazier and crazier, so uh, appreciate that. What up, what up, welcome back to the channel. I'm Modi J and we are locked in. What you just heard was Tariq St. Patrick, aka Michael Rainey, saying 10 years in power and who knows how many years to come so what i'm taking that as Tariq is going to make it out of it and today's video is going to be about Tariq and how he can get about this situation by doing the right thing and his main two obstacles are don carter and figuring out what he's going to do with noma via davis's help now before we jump into this and we break down what Tariq could potentially do to get him out of this situation if you like power content breakdowns theories and predictions like this tune in friday night 3 p.m eastern for the last show that we're going to have on this season you're at the right spot hit that subscribe button turn on your notification bell so you get something every time i upload make sure you hit that like button now let's go ahead and jump into this Tariq, you need to just do the right thing i'm going to be tying don carter and davis in together because this whole scenario plays a large role on Tariq, and we know what's going on in the situation with don carter right now he's kidnapped by Tariq. And it's just braiding an Effie around because Monet left Tariq out to dry because of the potential war that's going on. Now, Drew and Diana don't necessarily know what's happening to Tariq because they stayed here and they got caught. But Don Carter has went ahead and told Tariq about the video of him and Braden unalive in Zion. Now, that doesn't have anything to do with the Tejada trio. So this is what I mean by Tariq is pretty much on his own. Now, he's going to have to decide on how he's gonna get out of this scenario because the Tejadas, they're going straight at Noma. That's the issue Tariq is gonna have to worry about at a later time. With Carter being kidnapped, one of the things Tariq could potentially do is try to get in contact with Nico. Now he probably have to link up with Kane to get this information that they paid Nico some money in order to A, calm down the police, the task force, because Don Carter said if he doesn't check in, the police will be looking for him. So Tariq is gonna have to get in contact with the Tejadas and see what Kane can do. That 50,000 was paid for, and we've been thinking that Nico is probably gonna flip on Don Carter. Now, where I'm going with this is, if they can get Nico to flip on Don Carter, they can start to place all these murders on Don Carter. We also, we see footage of Effie going into Don Carter's house. This is what I'm assuming Effie is doing. They started questioning Don Carter. They figured out how they could stall because they only had an hour according to Don Carter. So Effie's probably going to get this file off of the computer and they're going to either A, talk to Nico about it, talk to Tate about it, which is option B, or C, let Davis know. But they're going to have to get rid of this footage of Zion and this is going to be one thing that could potentially save them. Now, when I say do the right thing, I don't mean go tell the police directly on Don Carter but give this information to someone else like they did with Tate when it came to the Russians. So if they can get the footage back of Zion, this will pretty much clear them up. The whole Felicia thing, if they can prove that Don Carter is a dirty cop, no one's gonna believe that Felicia was unalive, him and Drew took the body, put it in the vehicle, and simulated the wreck. So that's one thing that they could do to get him up out of here. We also see Davis is gonna be trying to get back his license. Now, Davis was trying to stall Noma off and distract her during the wedding, but it didn't work. And that's how the whole war began again down in the basement. Now, with Davis trying to get his license back, this could be another route that they take as far as eliminating Don Carter. Give Davis this tape and have Davis report the crimes that are being committed by Don Carter. He could go to the board. He could mention it to another lawyer. Hey. You guys think I'm not an upstanding citizen? I'm not worthy of the bar? 
Well, I have some information on a dirty cop that could bring down the whole New York City task force. That could be one thing that'll help Davis out because the alliance that he has with Tariq, they're very close and they actually need each other right now. Now, one of the key pieces to potentially get at Noma after they handle this Carter situation will be Anya. Now, remember, last season, this was Tariq's plan initially to get close to Noma. Now, they have been interacting with each other and doing what grown folks do, but she's starting to piece things together. She realizes that Kane, his family's in a dope game. Now that this shootout has went down, Monet is gone. Noma is really going to be isolated. It's just going to be her brother and whatever security guard she has left. We see Anya yelling at her. We've seen Anya questioning her about marrying Kane. We see Anya wondering about what actually happened to her dad and why she's in New York. So she could be the piece that Tariq uses to get close to Noma so they can set her up. Now, the Tejada trio, we know that they're going to be pressing Noma. The only thing is we know the Tejadas, they aren't capable of putting a plan together that actually work. So Tariq and Anya, even though Diana, she still likes Tariq a little bit, she's just going to have to step back and let Tariq quarterback this one. He's Tariq freaking St. Patrick. He unalived his father. He doesn't need help, but he can use some assistance from everybody. Because in the words of Monet, R.I.P., it's all hands on deck. So, overall, Tariq could blackmail Don Carter with the footage, get rid of that, talk to Nico, and Nico could help him out. Also, via Davis, Davis could use his legal tactics. We can also reach out to Tate because Tate didn't believe what Don Carter was telling him. And as far as Noma goes, Tariq might lean on the Tejadas mostly to do this because they want revenge for their mother. But if he steps in, he will be the right person. He's Tariq St. Patrick, and this is the finale of Ghost. So we got to see him step up and become actual Ghost. Let me know what you think. Which one of these scenarios is better for Tariq to actually stick to? Trying to get the footage from Don Carter and setting him up to go down for it? Or him with the Tejadas trying to take out Noma? Which one would be more successful for Tariq St. Patrick? I'm ODIJ. If you like this kind of content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'm out.